Uh, you probably remember Dr. Sanders. He's been on Indy Style, uh, I'd say, three or four times already. And the last time he was on, we talked about a very common type of vertigo. It affects a lot of different people. Uh, but today, he brought a Stephanie Ford, who's a physical therapist. But she's very specialized in the type of work that she does. So let's talk a little bit about that. Sure. Stephanie has been one of the few physical therapists we have around the uh, central Indiana area who has further her education in learning how to best treat patients suffering from dizziness and balance problems. Does this fall upon a certain age group when you're talking about dizziness and imbalance? I know really at any point any of us can deal with this, but it's typically something for a certain age group. Sure, it, it can affect people of all age groups, mm -hmm. but predominantly we do see it among people you know, in their 60s and 70s. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a, a big problem in our country, over 40% of our population will at some point uh, go to their doctor complaining of dizziness or balance problems. Um, people over the age of 65, a third of them will fall at any, in any given year. Mm -hmm. Over the age of 85, half of the people will fall. Um, uh, balance problems lead to uh, injuries and deaths from falling and is the number yes. one fear of the elderly. So okay. it's a big problem that we really need to uh, address and take care of as well as we can. And Stephanie, I would imagine, I mean, if you're, you're sort of on the front lines with mm -hmm. the physical therapy and you hear the concerns from people who are battling with it, and I guess there's probably lots of uh, tricks to the trade and uh, science and things that you in, um, it, integrate into uh, to, to your work, but what did you bring with you today? You've got a... Well, this will kind of demonstrate a little bit pad. <laughs> how we use our uh, different senses for balance. So it's okay. not, balance isn't just about leg strength, and a lot of people think, oh, I'm starting to fall, my legs must be weak. But we actually use three senses for balance. We use our vision, okay. our inner ear system, the vestibular system, the, vestibular. the okay. sensation in our feet, our proprioception. So oh, okay. the brain is taking input from all three systems at any time in any condition. So if you're in the dark, you can't use your vision for balance. Your brain needs to use your other two senses for balance. Okay. So we're going to demonstrate a little bit on this foam cushion if you would like. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll, uh, <laughs> sure, I'll be the guinea pig. In this case, I'm going to take my shoes off. I don't want to poke any holes in your uh, foam pad there. So just step up. I'm going to have you stand <laughs> okay. with stand your feet on. really close together. Really close that together. That way it will make it harder for you. Okay. So just on the foam cushion, you can't use the sensation in your feet as well for balance. Your brain needs to use more of the inner ear, more of your vision. Okay. But if we take away your vision by making you close your eyes. Okay. Then you're going to sway a little bit more oh, because your brain more. really just has that inner ear to work on. Okay, you oh, can open okay. your eyes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so that's one of the tools I can use to help determine how well is your brain using what sense for balance and what we need to do for our exercise. It's almost like a little bit of a mini diagnosis. So you can sort of go, okay, this is kind of, you're having mm -hmm. dizziness, but this maybe we can locate where it's happening, like we can, where things aren't Yeah, clicking, we can tell maybe. what you're using well and what you're not using well and what we can maybe make better. Okay, and I know that we had a few slides, and I don't know if, if, mm -hmm. um, if those have popped up yet. Maybe we can see one. Uh, but if nothing else there, we certainly have the information uh, on the screen. Now, those were some statistics, Doctor, that you gave us a little bit earlier on in the show, and they were just kind of seeing those again. It's, uh, I think people would be surprised to know that it does affect such a large portion of uh, the population. Now, if we could move on to the other slide, we'll check that out real quick. And see um, the sense of balance and that was something that you also just addressed mm -hmm. we're talking about those three things um, so that's what our exercises will help with is mm -hmm. making the brain use those senses better for balance okay and then there okay and tell me about this slide doctor what are we looking at so this just uh, highlights what type of patient might best benefit from uh, the type of therapy that Stephanie offers okay. so people who just have dizziness or fill off balance have fallen uh, feel unsteady when walking in dark conditions or uneven surfaces, mm -hmm. which is what you demonstrated on the blue foam pad there. Uh, people who walk around their house and feel that they need to reach out and touch furniture as they move along to keep from falling. And um, limiting their activities. People who become less active uh, become worse over time. They, it, it kind of feeds on itself. And there's also that psychological component too. They probably become depressed because they're being, uh, they're becoming withdrawn. Right. And also real quick, we're almost out of time, but there's a medication that a lot of people will take for uh, dizziness or imbalance and doesn't always, it's not always the best choice. Exactly. Uh, Meclizine or Anavert is mm -hmm. a commonly prescribed medication um, and it was marketed for dizziness. But mm -hmm. the facts we know today are that it uh, has limited usefulness. There okay. are certain conditions where it can be helpful, uh, but there shouldn't be anybody taking meclizine on a long-term basis. Uh, for example, when you right. stood on this foam pad, you're taking away proprioception. 
if you use meclizine, you're reducing inner ear function. Okay. And people can even become more off balance when they take that continuously. So you guys, there's so much that factors into this. So uh, really, you need to go talk to the doctor. We're going to put all that information on IndyStyle.tv. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank and thanks you. for um, supporting me on this. <laughs> <laughs> Once or twice. Uh, Tracy, it's right? Not but, well, it's good to know, right? I, I, we, I, I think we it. just limit it to, yeah, yeah. just our legs. There so you go. We learned something. We, we did. That's, that's the whole point. Okay.